ridiculous through the, through the red card the, uh, and the incident with the penalty. Your view for that? Yeah, um, I think the, the referee obviously didn't give it. It was the linesman who gave it on that side. Um, you know, uh, I've seen him. I've seen him give. I think Ryan's sort of gone with his thigh and his arm, and I think the ball sort of ricocheted off his thigh onto his hand and. You know, I mean, I think I don't know what the ruling is now. Uh, I don't think it always has to be an automatic sending off. Maybe the penalty, you know, and uh, booking. But referee see it as he sees it. He's obviously gone and spoke to his linesman. The linesman's the one who's given it, and um, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I can see why uh, the decision didn't go for us. Um, you know, uh, we've had some shocking decisions against us over recent weeks, you know, offside decisions that haven't been offside and, you know, we're not having a rubber to green on that, but I'm not for one second blaming that for the for the, uh, the defeat today. Our problem today was we didn't have enough quality in the final third. We had possession of the ball for, I would say, 70% of the game. I would have thought the possession stats are something like that. You know, even with 10 men, we were completely dominating the game, but we got ourselves into so many good positions and then didn't have the right quality to finish the move off. I'm not going to blame any individuals. We win, lose and draw as a team, um, as I said before the game. But that was our problem today. A lot of the ball dominated the game. Some of our process of working our way up the pitch was excellent. But, you know, the, the thing that really counts is putting the ball in the net. I said to the players in there, that's three league defeats on the spin now. We've lost to Hungerford at home. We've lost to Gloucester at home. And they're the facts. And that isn't good enough. It's not good enough for where we want to go. And it's a massive missed opportunity today. But um, I think we had enough chances to sort of win two or three games of football. We didn't take them. And then we obviously down to 10 men for 50, 55 minutes. Uh, but even, like I say, with 10 men, I thought we would have bet the dominant side. And uh, But Gloucester have got the three points. And, uh, you know, that's all that matters at the end of the day. What positives do you take, though, from the game today? To be honest with you, uh, you know, it's hard to take positives because I'm feeling incredibly frustrated at the moment. That was one of the most frustrating games I've, I've, I've sort of uh, uh, taken part in for a long, long time because a lot of what we were doing were very good and we were dominating the game and some of our patterns, some of our play. But, you know, as I keep saying, uh, the, the, the most important thing is the final third. And, um, you know, our goal scoring return over the last sort of... Uh, four or five games hasn't been good enough you know if I'm just talking about the league obviously we didn't you know last week in the trophy we didn't score at Maidenhead but we only got one at home to Hungerford we didn't score at St Albans we haven't scored again today and um, you know that's a problem for us you know um, and that isn't sort of uh, criticising just the forward players you know Cabby's obviously scored 23 goals for us this year but you know I'd have to look at our stats and in terms of what the next sort of goal scoring contribution is I shouldn't think it's any, it's anywhere near double figures so that's our problem I've been thinking it for the last two or three weeks what we need me and my uh, and the staff have, have been out every single night watching games of football this week trying to get the right type of player the, the, the my opinion on on what we need hasn't changed won the game today it's exactly what i thought i know what we need but you know knowing what we need and getting the right player at this time of year within our budget is very very difficult you know the players that are going to do the damage for you in the final third cost lots and lots of money at this level and we haven't got it so what we've got to do is keep working um, and um, you know keep trying to improve but um, that's very very frustrating today and that was the overriding feeling you know I was getting very frustrated on the side some of our sort of decision making and quality when it really mattered wasn't there and that's what's cost us today. And obviously moving on to, to league leaders Torquay next week I mean a win today would, would have set you up nicely with the confidence to go into that but how do you turn things around ahead of that game? Well, you know, we've got to um, get over this defeat. You know, it's obviously, you know, you're always disappointed when you get beat on a Saturday. It's a great feeling when you win and it's a horrible feeling when you lose and that's football. Uh, we see it as a big, big missed opportunity for us today. We spoke to uh, the players about the importance of the game and, and just how, you know, we wanted to desperately get three points today. I thought um, we started the game absolutely in control. For the majority of the game, we were in control, but you know, without wishing to keep repeating myself it was the final third that was a problem for us today um, but you know football's you know it's not an exact science you know sometimes you sort of look at fixtures and you think oh well that's three points there that's three points or that one we won't you know we go down to Torquay and we'll do our best and you know you never know you you know we might get something down there and people are going oh how, how did that work you know so we're very very frustrated the players are very sort of low in there at the moment 
Uh, but in two or three days time when we come in to train we have to pick ourselves up and we have to go again uh, because that's what you have to do you've got to keep going and uh, in terms of players in and out so obviously Ryan in disappointed that he's he's not seen out the, the whole game mm. today um, but, but what's the situation at the moment yeah uh, so obviously Ryan sort of been training with us for the last couple of weeks and um, I felt that you know you know, his slightly better experience at the back today, I decided to go with that. Obviously, Tom Carter's done nothing wrong. I think he's a player of the future. But I just decided to go with somebody with a bit more experience. And uh, Ryan was doing OK. And uh, obviously, that happened. It can happen in football, one of those things. Um, in terms of players coming in, I think we've still got to keep trying. Uh, as I say, you know, it's not for the want of trying. You know, I've been out uh, myself, been out watching five games this week. Steve's been out watching games. And um, but we've got to you know try and get the right player. Um, and uh, you know, as I said, it's not always easy. And I don't want to just sort of bring people in, you know, just for the sake of it that aren't really the answers. But we are still looking. I've got to obviously speak to the club and what we can do, um, without wishing to go too on the negative, but giving an honest opinion. You know, I don't think what we've currently got in that squad at the moment is good enough to get us in the top seven of this league. I think with with a couple of additions we would stand a chance, but it's you know the, getting a couple of additions in is is easier said than done. So that's why I see it. Um, very frustrating, a missed opportunity. It's not a good result, whatever way you want to dress it up. The last three results in the league haven't been um, haven't been good results for us, and uh, that's all that matters. People aren't interested in sort of me coming on saying, well, we dominated the play, we passed through the lines well. There were some great bits of play, didn't we? Dominate. All that people really care about is uh, you know winning the game, and when you win, everybody's happy and everybody says well done. And when you lose, the majority of people just sort of say, well, that wasn't very good. And I accept that, and that's what football you know is, and that's what management's about uh, great great when you win poor when you lose and uh, at the end of the day we're a first team we're in the results business we need to get results if we want to climb up the table and over the last three weeks or so we haven't got the results and uh, you have to accept that and you have to keep working hard to, to try and change that round and finally um, how much pressure is there on you to get somebody in ahead of the game against Torquay next week especially on the back of the loss today well, you know, sometimes when you bring a two or three fresh faces in, it can help lift everybody. And it isn't sort of a criticism of the current group. It's not bringing people in to replace people. It's bringing in to, to help the group because, you know, the majority of the season we've done great. You know, um, we lost Sam Nombe, which is a big, big loss. I think if Sam was out there playing today, we probably would have fashioned a sort of goal or, you know, with his persistence and his, you know, his ability in there. Um, you know, but we haven't managed to replace him over the last sort of couple of weeks. And um, as I say, um, but you know, it's difficult to replace a player like Sam. You know, he's from a league, you know a professional club, and um, you know, it isn't easy just to go and pick people out. You know, that are going to have that impact for you. But um, we all have to do better, myself included, the players, and uh, we have to keep fighting. But um, as I say, it's uh, it, it's not a good result today. Brilliant. Thank you very much.